Well, it's interesting how this how this happens, you know. And this have is, you told this? I don't think I've told this particular part of of, of oh good of good. how this works out. So it they didn't know. To, and to be fair to the writers, they they didn't know where the role was going. They, they sort of went with it. They knew where the show was ending and where it was beginning. It was going to start on Jack's eye and then, and on his eye. And emotionally, they knew and and thematically, they knew everything else was movable parts. And which was what was amazing about the show is that you know they they it's like what. Uh, what uh, Damon said is like, you know, once they, you know, they, they hit the walls, they started to, you know, they're like, they're, they're boxed in. Well, they started to climb up the walls. And so, so they were so inventive and, and the show was so rich in that way. And it was amazing. And my character benefited from that. So lo and behold, it gets to a, a point where, you know, it's, I love guesting on it. I've been recurring on it now for a season a, a bit, but I need, I need pilot. I need to get a pilot. I need pilot money if they're not going to commit to anything. You know, I got to support the family. My, yeah. my wife had just, you know, uh, essentially quit, you know, acting. So I was like, it's on me now. I got to get at least a pilot fee, if not a pilot that goes to start paying for these schools and, you know, you know, and just life. And so I was like, well, I'll just, you know, and so I did this pilot called or, or, or Kane for CBS. Kane. It's about uh, a Cuban family of sugar, you know, uh, in the sugar business in Florida and uh, with Jimmy Smits and Hector Elizondo, Rita Moreno. Awesome. It's a great cast, amazing cast. And, um, but I was like, I hope this doesn't jeopardize my role on Lost. Yeah. As we asked, we said, look, I may do this pilot, but if you guys offer us something, just even a, a six minimum episode thing, I won't do the pilot because I, I want to preserve this on Lost because, you know, I mean, I love the role. Well, they and, wouldn't do that. And they're like, we just don't know. We can't. So I was like, well, you know, I got to pay bills, man. I got to, you know. Yeah. And look, the cane was a great opportunity in and of itself. Yeah. It was like these great casts. So I was like, I, and, but I've got to also feed the family. Right. So so I went, I did Kane. I had a blast on Kane, And then I go back and then they call me back on Lost. And I was like, oh, they need me now on Lost. And then I, I remember landing in Hawaii and I remember telling Jack Bender, I go, don't kill me off. Do not kill me off on the show. I don't know that this pilot's gonna get picked up. So I, please don't kill me off. <laughs> and he goes, what's it about? He goes, well, it's about this, you know, wealthy uh, Cuban family and, you know, that is in the rum business and, you know, Florida. He goes, it's about rich people in Florida. He goes, that's never gonna go. You know, so yeah, just conceptually, he's like, that's not gonna get picked up. And sure enough, it gets picked up and they don't kill me off. And I'm like, oh no, <laughs> no. I mean, I'm like, now, wow. I hope I didn't put the show in a pickle, but you know, but- Not now, your fault. But it's now, you know, so not my fault. So sure enough, you know, but now I was like, I hope we're able to work around, you know, and I did 13 episodes of Kane. It didn't go beyond that. But as I'm doing that, I'm hoping, I hope they bring me back on Lost. And sure enough, Kane, you know, Kane gets killed through the writer's strike. And then, and then Lost does call me back and I, and I go, great. And then at that point we're like, hey, can we do a deal, anything, you know? And they're like, we just don't know where the role's going. And they didn't know, they didn't know. So very long story, I, you know, continue doing Lost and then another opportunity comes up and it's just a, t a six episodes to test for Kath and Kim, you know, to, you know, to play one of them. And they're forced, you forced their hand inadvertently and. And that's when they made the deal. Those bastards. But listen. It's just the way of the business. I know. They're trying to save money. No. They don't want to make you regular. It's like, you know. And they don't They know. knew how an integral, you know, I mean, part listen, it was. They, they do and they don't. I, to be fair, I, I don't, you know, when, when it's that. And there's a lot of characters. That's what I'm saying. Is like, yeah, I and, know. That's and, true. And if you get on the other side of it as a producer, you have to think, look, it's not an unlimited budget, you know, and, and these things get inflated very quickly. And it's crazy where they start cutting and they have to, because they have to justify it. So I get the other side of it, you know, yeah. it's just the business. Yeah, it's just yeah. the, it's just the nature of it. And until you learn leverage, you, you, you don't know what, you know, what you have. And it's not, a, you know, not, there's no animosity there. It's just, it's just understanding how it works, you know, 